All right, as we come down the stairs to the main level where the actual store is, we have uh, an exit door here. Uh, again, it's single pane glass, um, and uh, it is an exit to a small stairway and porch area. And as we loop back around here, we can see that we go up into the upper level as well. Over here we have a small storage area uh, with no venting, uh, so we'll see, have to see. We also have this radiant heat, which I believe may be active. I'm not sure. I was told that everything was electric in here, uh, but uh, I'll have to check that out. There is some damage to the, uh, uh, the pipe there. It looks like it's bent, uh, so we'll have to manage that and figure out what's going on with that. Again, the same type of flooring system. Over here we have the uh, restroom area where we have a small men's room, uh, no windows but a, uh, an exhaust vent. And over here we have a, uh, uh, the women's bathroom with an exhaust vent and a wing window with a single pane underneath the porch. There is somewhat of an access that I'll have to check out here to find out where that goes. That may be under the, uh, for a, a porch uh, shed roof. Coming down the hallway into the main store area. Okay, we'll just go back around here. We have an office area in the back with a couple of windows. Okay, in the corner here. And it doesn't look like there's any venting in this room, although it feels fairly cool in here. Uh, I may have to do some further research to find out where that air is coming from. Uh, as we go across here, we're looking at one, two, three, four windows on the back side of the store. And we have some refrigeration devices, uh, Coca-Cola machine here, and some a very cool cash register. Again, it's a nice uh, big floor system here, solid. Uh, we have a, uh, it looks like a faux stove. I don't think that this is operational, but we'll have to check and see if it goes to the outside or if it's been sealed. And if you look carefully in the, uh, in the wood system here, you can see there's some ventilation that allows some of the heat to uh, uh, come out of the, uh, the uh, uh, behind the wall there where the uh, pipes go. More windows, single pane. These are all single pane windows. Again, this is a historical site, so the chances of us changing these windows out are going to be almost nil. Uh, and we have a lot of paneling here against the walls, which sometimes causes problems unless they've covered it. Unless this is just for show, we don't know what's behind the walls. We may have some leakage there. Okay, let's make our way down the stairs. This is their basement. <clears throat> Obviously we can see that it's unfinished and the first thing that I notice is we have a tremendous amount of infiltration uh, via the cobwebs that are in here. We have no perimeter insulation at all. Nothing in the uh, joist base. We've got 12 inch on centers which is solid, solid floor. With uh, beams, um, we have oh very very loose ductwork, but uh, I'm not sure uh, if this is being used. I've got to I got to do some more research on this. But you can see that there's a tremendous amount of duct leakage in here. It looks like they've uh, tried to do some work. They've run some wires through the ductwork. If you look right here, you can see some power wires. And then it goes, oh, no, I think they tucked it behind it. It looks like they've tucked it behind it, so we're in good shape there. Okay. And back in this area here, and we can see some, looks like termite damage or some, some kind of damage here in the wood, so that will have to be addressed. Again, it's extremely loose duct system, tremendous amount of, uh, um, cobwebs, which means we're getting a lot of movement from outside to inside. We really need to handle this. And uh, just, you know, boarded up windows, very loose duct system here. And as we make our way over to the heating system, I can hear that we have the fan operating in here, so we definitely know that we've got this uh, system working here 
and we have definitely a destroyed humidifier it's just not done well and then we have a cooling uh, coil here in the middle um, with a lot of duct leakage and things of that nature this is a an it looks like an electric air handler but I'm going to do some more research to find out where the power is coming from on that I don't know if the, I don't know if this is operational it says that the gauges are at zero but that may be because it's not operating in the summertime so we'll have to find out what the status is of this uh, and it looks like it goes to a chimney stack.